Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Harm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can get yourself a free Patrigio's apparel bag that is normally only available on the Pearl Shop in this game by completing a quest that's offered by this Sly Cooper wannabe right here. And quickly before we actually get into the video and show you how to do this, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you enjoy the content on the channel and you wanna stay up to date when new videos like this and new guides and tutorials and all sorts of different things for your favorite MMOs comes out, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me, it helps to grow my channel, and we are approaching the 50K number. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So right off the bat, I would recommend turning off this video and doing anything else with your life in Black Desert because this is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It takes forever, uses so many different resources, such a waste of time. If you wanted to buy everything, it's like 200 and something million silver to do it for a bag that lets you just switch outfits a little bit quicker than having to click the items in your inventory. So if you're looking for a better use of your silver in Black Desert, I would recommend like going to the ocean in Velia and trying to see if you can drag it out of your inventory and throw it into the water because this is a waste. But hey, I'm here and I'm going to show you how to do it just in case you're bored and have billions of silver just to throw around. I've actually already wasted 200 million silver on this and I'm not even going to finish it because I'm going to sell all the stuff back and just take my 30% loss. That's literally how dumb this is. Now with all of my jadedness out of the way, to get started with the quest line, you're going to need to find the NPC Marco located in Velia. You cannot go to any of the other Marcos around the map. You need to find the Sly Cooper dude hanging out in Velia, who is located right here on the map. So there is Velia. You're up right by the Stable Keepers. He's like literally right across the way from the Stable Keeper. Go ahead and talk to this dude, and when you talk to him, he has a quest. And in order to see this quest, make sure you have on your quest journal by pressing the O key on the keyboard, all of the quests selected along the bottom here. When you select that quest, you will be able to see the quest from this dude, and it will give you the weekly bag to get the Patricio's apparel bag. So this apparel bag, what it does is it allows you to save an outfit slot equip like fast swap thing. So if that didn't make sense, basically all it does is instead of having to go through your inventory and like if I wanted to swap over to my alchemy costume, instead of having to do that, I could just click one button and that's it. And then if I wanted to switch back, it would switch it back. So this is a bag that you're going to see all this craziness to be able to do those buttons for you a little bit faster. But anyway, when you go ahead and accept that quest and then you go to the chat option with him, you're going to see the different items that we need to get. So we need to get a Supreme Tough Hide, a Supreme Soft Hide, a Dusk Laden Cotton Fabric, a Dawn Fallen Silk, and Sunset Dyed Wools. So these items are all a pain in the butt to get. So first things first, if you want to craft all of these items to be able to do this rather than just buy them off the marketplace, you're going to need to open up the quest log by pressing the O key on the keyboard once again. Navigate to the suggested tab and scroll down the list until you arrive at the Certificate Skilled Paradigm quest line. Under this quest line, you'll need to go all the way down to the best jewel quest right here. And this is going to give you the knowledge Grinding Skilled. You will need this knowledge in order to craft all of the items on this list that you just saw a second ago. Without this quest line being done, you cannot do this at all. So once again, that is the Certificate Skilled Paradigm quest line. And I am probably pronouncing that wrong because I'm an American and I can't read. With that out of the way, we're going to start with the Dawn Fallen Silk. So if you go to the Central Market, you should be able to find some available. There's a few available right now in the NA version, and you can see them listed for a whopping 2.7 million silver. You need 20 of these, so Fast Math says goodbye to 50 million silver of yours right there. Now, if you can't find these on the market, you can get some silk, which there's a ton of on the NA version. If for some reason there's none of these available on your server that you play on, you can drop down to the silk thread and buy those. Or if there's none of that, you can get the Silkworm Cocoon. And if you can't get the Silkworm Cocoon, you're going to have to go get it yourself over in Valencia. And I guess I'll be a nice person and pull up the map so you can actually see where it is. So here's Valencia City. You got to get this node right here, which is the Valencia Plantation. And from the Valencia Plantation, you need to get the Erdo Farm node to get it. But there should be a boatload of it available on the market, so you should be able to get this one. Now, in order to craft the silk all the way up to the Dawn Fallen Silk, you will also need Oil of Storms. Oil of Storms can just be purchased off of this. And if there's no oil of storms available on the market, you'll need to craft it yourself. So in order to do that, press the F2 key on the keyboard to open up the crafting notes, search for the item, and you will see the items that you need in order to craft it. This is through alchemy, which means you'll need an alchemy tool, and you'll need to follow my alchemy guide, which is like a 40-something minute video. So do you see why I already said that this is a lot of fun? It gets worse. And the next one on the list was going to be the dusk-laden cotton fabric. So once again, if you're lucky and you can just buy them, good luck, go ahead, buy it. Otherwise, get the cotton fabric, otherwise the cotton yarn, otherwise the straight-up cotton. If there's no cotton available on the marketplace, you can go ahead and harvest it from the Otto Farm, which is located right here relative to Heidel. So off to the right, Otto Farm. Now, if you do need to make the final step of crafting from cotton fabric up to the dusk-laden cotton fabric, you are going to need to use Oils of Fortitude. So Oils of Fortitude, similar to the previous item we just looked at, are available on the central market. Once again, there's a bunch more of these on the NA version. If there's not any on the NA version here or whatever version you're playing on, open up the crafting notes, 
look up the oil of fortitude and you will see the recipe for this one. Once again, this is alchemy. You're going to need an alchemy station and a house in order to do this. Do I sound like a broken record yet? Next up on the list is going to be the Supreme Soft Hide and Supreme Tough Hide. So to make a Supreme Tough Hide, you're going to need a Fine Tough Hide. To make Fine Tough Hide, you're going to need Tough Hide, and Tough Hide comes from the animals you see listed there. So rhinos, pigs, ox, or elephants. Kill those, use a tanning knife on them to get their hides, then mix a bunch of them together to get the Fine Tough Hides, using the Drying Skill in the Processing tab. And then from there, you can combine three of those, plus five leather glazes, to create the Supreme Tough Hide. Okay, so you just gotta get some leather glazes. Oh, fuck, okay, those are sold out too. Well, those can't be too bad to make, right? Let's go ahead and press F2 to look at that. Oh, well, okay, so this isn't too bad. So let's see, we got maple saps times three, some traces of ascension, some powders of darkness, and a clear liquid reagent. That's not too bad, right? So let's let's look for the traces of ascension. Those have to be in stock. Uh-oh, those are those are sold out too. Oh, gosh, and a lot of pre-orders. Well, where, where can I get those? Oh, only from the ancient stone ruins node in Black Desert, so from right here. And I get, like, what, one of those every four or five hours? Oh. This is gonna be fun. So anyway, after you've suffered through making 100 of those, which needs five of those leather glazes, which needs, like, three of those traces of ascension, so just doing the fast math on that, you're gonna need to spend at least, like, four months. You just need to make the Supreme Soft Hide, and that rests- oh. Five more leather glaze. All right, so let's say you've actually decided to be a masochist and get all of these different items. You now need these sunset dyed wools. And this one's actually not too bad compared to the other ones. You either have to go to Laura, who's the NPC located in Heidel. So we're at the bottom of Heidel, right over here by the bar. If you go ahead and talk to her, she has a quest line that you can complete every single day. It is the daily Laura's Great Discovery and Bread. For completing this quest line, you can either choose between the Scorch Fragment, which is worth 3.5 million silver, and you can also use it to make Manos accessories, or you can pick this piece of wool that you would need for this stupid quest that's only worth 30,000 silver. Oh, it's only worth 30,000 silver? I can totally buy one, right? Oh, out of stock with like 500 pre-orders. Okay, never mind. Now, if you don't want to wait for five days of doing Laura's daily quest, you can do Imperial Cooking for five days instead. So instead of getting any bonus materials for your Imperial Cooking, you can trade it in for this stupid sunset dyed wool at 100 seals per pop. But anyway, once you have all of those materials, you can head back over to Velia and go back to our friend that sent us on this miserable quest line. And I guess if I'm sticking with my Sly Cooper references, it really should be Carmelita the Fox, not Sly Cooper, because Sly Cooper's a raccoon. But anyway, when you go ahead and hit talk on him and hit the chat option, you get one last chance to decide to yourself. Should I just sell all this stuff I just made and take my 30% loss instead of turning it in for this bag? But if you want to turn it in for the bag, you just click through all these different options and you will get the bag. This is a weekly quest, which means you can do this quest multiple times over the course of your account. You can have multiple of these bags in your inventory at any given time, which means if you want to swap between like your maid outfit, your processing outfit, your cooking outfit, all your different outfits you have on your life skiller, or even like a PvP character just looking pretty for fashion, you can have multiples of these bags all set up and ready to go and just swap them with a click. Other than that, there's really absolutely no use to this little bag. It does clean up your inventory a little bit, makes a little bit of space for you, but in my opinion, the 250-ish million silver worth of stuff you're going to throw away, or the sheer amount of time, like months of your life you're going to waste trying to gather all this stuff yourself, is not worth it for this little bag. So anyway, that is going to do it for this video. I do hope it's going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, or save your money, or if you really want it and you think I'm dumb, just let me know in the comment section below, right? This is a typical Evil Do Us Arm video. You can feel free to roast me in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you're not subscribed already, please consider it so you stay up to date when new videos and guides like this come out. And as always, I will see you at the next video right here on YouTube, the next live stream over on Twitch, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.